Hello, new So Like a Pro members. I'm Teresa Sigmund. Thank you so much for being here for module one in this advanced program. Now, this is the first of 11 information packed modules. And when I say information packed, I am not exaggerating. <laughs> so, we have a lot to cover here. And in this module, we talk about design and fabrics. Now, there are four key things that are specific to the advanced program. And then there are some items that are very much related to what also goes into the basic programs. So I'm going to run you through both of that to help you make your design decisions. The four specialty items that you'll learn in this advanced program are mesh, how to do an accent color or an accent cutaway, learn to work with skirt yokes, and fringe. Now let me walk you through a little bit of each of those design elements because as you're designing your dress, you'll want to incorporate one or two, or as in the example of Andrea, our model for this program, all four. <laughs> so let's go ahead and run through them. The first one is mesh. Now I am going to teach you how to do a full coverage upper body mesh. Now, when you're looking at this picture, you'll notice that there are no shoulder seams, which is really cool because it makes it look really sleek and easy to look at. It doesn't detract from the dress at all without the seams around the armhole. There is one seam though, and it runs up underneath the arm down towards the hand. We can't have no seams because they aren't pantyhose after all. And then the really great thing about having this full coverage mesh is it could be flesh colored or it could be a color to match the dress. It could be an accent color. You can leave it plain. You can texture it with lace or rhinestones. But structurally, what's great about mesh is that it offers a lot of support without looking matronly. The next key element that you'll learn in this advanced program is how to do an accent or a cutaway. Now, these are really fun because it creates a nice focal point. And a lot of times focal points can add drama, they can add interest, or the focal points can draw your eye away from a body part that you don't particularly want to want people to look at. So let's say you're very, um, you have a very wide waist, then give them something else to look at. Use this accent cutaway to draw the focal point up towards your chest or up towards the shoulder. These accent cutaways can be very simple and geometric like diamonds or teardrop shapes. They can be ornate with lace and rhinestones. They can really be big or small, whatever you're in the mood for for your dress. The third design element that we focus on in the advanced program is adding skirt yokes. Now skirt yokes are highly versatile because they can literally be used for any type of dance or skate dress, be it long or short. So Andrea, the model here, I show you how to put on the skirt yoke so that you can barely see it. So when you're looking at this photo, you almost can't see the stitching. And she really has very minimal amount of rhinestones on the bodice to camouflage that stitching. The trick is proper cutting and sewing, which I'll teach you how to do. Now with this program, you'll, we'll, I'll talk you through how to do a very long skirt yoke like our model Andrea has. And I will also teach you how to take that same skirt yoke principle and make it short so that you can use it for a smooth gown or for a standard gown. Now in this particular program, because we have so many other things to cover, only the simplest of ball gown skirts is included in this package. We'll then take that same skirt yoke pattern and add points to it. Now, this has been in hot demand from a lot of the early members. Like, I wanna learn how to put the go days in the skirt point. So I decided to go ahead and add that into this program because it still is attached, can be attached with a skirt yoke. And once again, it can be used either long or short. The fourth key element that you'll learn in this advanced program is working with fringe. And we'll address both beaded fringe, like our model Andrea has, as well as chainette fringe, sometimes called rayon or nylon fringe because that's what it's made of. 
And in this, I'll teach you how to make a really fun, I call it a shag haircut, which is just layers and textures of fringe like this dress. But then we'll also address how to work with very clean, simple lines and make it so that the edging on the fringe doesn't show without having to add big old rows of rhinestones over it. So now to help you tie in all four of these key elements, which can be used alone or to all together, I have included over 60, yes, over 60 inspiration sketches and color photos to help sort of fuel, fuel your flame there so that you can help decide what works for you. Now, lower on in this module, there is a lot of information. I give you links on where to find great, um, more sources for photos, you know, like um, what photographers to track, what magazines to buy, you know, what people to follow on Pinterest, things like that. So I've given you links for that below. I've given you a video on how not to be overwhelmed because it can be so overwhelming in this decision making stage here because there are an infinite number of choices. <laughs> Uh, and then keep scrolling on down. There are multiple pages in this design and materials modules um, because there's a lot to cover. I walk you through um, basic design principles on, like I mentioned earlier, about drawing the eye away on what types of fabrics work well. And then I also include estimated materials for some of the sample photos. And that way, as soon as you have decided on your design, you can go ahead and order your fabric and once that comes in, you can go ahead and keep working along. So you've got a lot to do. Don't let this, um, if you get overwhelmed here, that's okay. Module two comes out with pattern making. Just if you can't decide on your design, go ahead and make your pattern when module two becomes available for you, teaching you how to make your own custom pattern. And then after a while, your button, you know, it's like your brain will reset and it'll help you finish making that design decision. All right, that is it for me. I look forward to seeing you in the membership site, on our private Facebook group, and of course in our live Q&A calls, which I usually host about every three weeks. So go on, get busy designing and choosing materials, and happy working.